Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, it's been a while since I've made a video. First off, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and welcome to the Marina Odin family if you're new to my channel. And if you've been subscribed to my channel, then welcome back and thank you so much for all your support. If you like these types of videos and you've been liking my videos, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. But before we start this video, I wanted to kind of talk about why I've been a little MIA and what has been going on. So first and foremost, um, I wanted to let you guys know that emotionally and mentally I've just been so down and drained and um, uh, I don't even know, I, I really don't have the words. I've had like days where I'm just like up and down and um, of course there's so much going on in the world that that's already enough to make somebody feel that way but of course we try to do our best to keep this channel positive but I did want to share something and bring awareness to what is happening in Armenia which is where I am originally from um, and, and I wanted to share that um, there are attacks on Armenia and there's currently an active war going on in the front lines of Armenia and there's a lot of people suffering. Um, there's humanitarian crisis and at the moment as we're speaking there has been genocide alerts and for those of you that know the history of Armenians in 1915 about 105 years ago um, we've had a genocide happen to Armenians and to our people and this is just so important for me to share with you guys and um, just before I even start this video just to let you guys know why I've been MIA I just haven't had the heart to do these videos um, but I have decided to come back and create although there's so much going on um, I feel like this is the way that I can keep positive and maybe also bring awareness to the world of what's happening to the people in Armenia and so many other places in the world um, I can't even begin to say the atrocious um, events that are happening to people in modern day so i just ask for you guys to if you want to educate yourselves um on what's going on google um what is happening in armenia currently or go to my instagram at i am marina odin where i have highlights named armenia and you will have everything there kind of explaining the situation what is happening i would also like to link the armenia fund link in my bio and in the description box so that anybody who would like to donate every little bit counts um, if you'd like to donate or bring awareness everything counts and I would just like to leave that option down below um, this is going to be for civilians um, innocent civilians who have been shelled and bombed and um, so many atrocious things happening to kids and families and our young soldiers um, another message just to wrap this up uh, I would just like to end this with Armenia just wants peace and the support from the world and humanity and um, we love you all and I would like to thank for everybody that has been supporting um, and bringing awareness to this cause and um, and I'm just hoping that all is well. And thank you guys for hearing me out if you heard through out that whole process. Um, and now let's just uh, go ahead and jump into um, this video. So this video was very much anticipated by me, but as I mentioned, I've just been going through so much um, mentally and emotionally that that was so much to take in and watching people you know, suffer in a modern day not being able to do anything just kind of had like this paralysis on me emotionally and mentally where there was days like I wanted to create and then there was days I just couldn't um, do it. But I have decided to um, bring some positivity with uh, what I love to do most which is creating and here I am doing it, creating and sharing. So let's jump in to this haul. I don't even know what to name this haul. Um, I didn't know if I should name this the um, fall haul or luxury haul since I do have luxury piece in, in here and maybe 
maybe uh, the brand Cos is a luxury brand, I don't know. But we'll leave this uh, Prada baby here um, for last. And seriously, I purchased these uh, Prada loafers little hint hint um i know there are several prada boots loafers um that are extremely trending and popular but when i purchased these they were not trending or popular at all i think it was about a month and a half ago or two months now um and i can't wait to share it because i really want to wear it since in la it's already kind of starting to look a bit gloomy and so i'm just really excited to share this with you guys so i can wear it that's one and just kind of release my creative juices out and um, dress up a little and feel good. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to start with Cos. They were having a nice, I would say, massive sale throughout their store. And I purchased a couple of pieces. And I would definitely say, um, as you guys know me, I love sustainable brands and I love pieces that are high quality um, that I can pay more for one piece and at the same time get it on sale so you have to be really smart about this if you don't want to spend a lot um, but at the same time you don't want to um, you know shop at stores that are just um, not sustainable and they're uh, you know part of fast fashion you'd like to stay away from shopping ever so often and staying away from fast fashion you can always wait and see when they will have their annual sales and trust me they always do and make sure you pick those staple pieces and oh what are these little dust bunnies in there uh the most staple pieces and pieces that you can wear a lot um and i would definitely say this one piece right here is this cute little knit um like fine knit i don't know this is black or blue it looked blue to me but i guess it's black now let's see if it says anything on the tag and i got this in size large it used to be 115 dollars and i believe i purchased it if i have the receipt here i'll let you guys know Do -do -do. where is it so I purchased it for um, $49, it was 50% off, and it is blue. Okay, oh no, sorry, no, 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 that is my son's um, knit sweater. This one is a heavy knit jacket, 50% off, um, and uh, let's see. So I ended up purchasing it for $57 that is not bad at all it's actually really good guys and it's this super cute let me try to show you guys crop jacket with a beautiful lapel with it's like narrow and then it becomes really wide here and as you guys know this is extremely in these crop jackets are in and um it has wider uh arms this reminds me of Louis Vuitton crop jacket that I wanted but that one has leather detailing but honestly this is so similar and so easy to wear and probably the fraction of the price if not more I can't wait to show this to you guys on were these socks i got these beautiful fine knit um extremely like thin and fine knit um socks they're kind of like long socks which i can definitely see myself wearing with loafers with boots falls coming around town and i was really excited let's open it and this was 30 percent off it was um 17 and i got it at a size eight to nine and a half Ooh, I'm gonna need scissors. Oh, no, got it. But I might need scissors to fully, like, release them. Right, so I was able to release them, and wow, they are longer than I expected. Beautiful, long socks. They might even go to, like, 
almost the knee that's cute okay so that was that um now before i show you guys the products let's jump into some jewelry pieces some fashion jewelry pieces that i wanted to purchase and i feel like i am kind of um manifesting to get that one perfect piece that i have my eye on i'm not going to tell you guys but hint hint i will say the brand is van cleef and um i was in orange county um over the weekend last weekend and i found this beautiful little store they were selling handmade jewelries and just um small business made jewelries and this one that i found was from the brand called julie voss and i would definitely say it has um a similarity to uh van cleef pieces very much but like in a different shape so i ended up getting this gold plated um beautiful necklace and it opens up here so what i decided to do is layer it and then what i like to do is either layer it like this or pull it up a little and make this part look like a little choker and then this one longer or you can just um wear it like that so that one was my little fashion jewelry piece that i wanted to get and then i also got this beautiful symbol um like woven i don't know if you call it woven um necklace and i got this one from nordstrom rack i forget the brand but it was like around i believe 14 dollars very affordable and this one i paid around like 200 dollars. i think it was a little high highly priced compared to what i saw that this um piece was being sold for on the actual website so note if you guys want to purchase that go on their um website directly although i do like to support you know local stores and small businesses sorry guys my battery died uh, hopefully it's gonna last um i put it back on charge um another thing i did want to mention speaking of accessories and um things like that i wanted to mention this beautiful silhouette candles that i have i'll put a clip um i'll put a short clip for these candles so you guys can see they're beautiful uh one is like a renaissance body silhouette and the other one is just a beautiful feminine um silhouette of a woman's um and besides these beautiful candles and the name of the company is mother of pearl i've also ordered a beautiful necklace with a drop pearl i can't wait to share those share that with you guys as well so that's also going to be part of my new fashion jewelry that i'm trying to collect anyways enough of the babbling let's get to the prada shoes i'm going to insert a quick clip but before i do that um, as you guys can see from the cover, I've put two Prada shoes and um, I wrote this one or that one. So please stop the video, comment down below, and let me know what you guys thought they were. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into that small clip before we get to this baby. you guys enjoyed it let's open it up again oh, that paper noise i thought like it deserved its own unboxing honestly um and as you guys know it's everywhere as i said so these beautiful babes i had my eye on and i went into the prada store and they didn't have it they said that they actually do not carry this one it was specifically made for stores like nordstrom which is where i purchased it from and i believe Saks fifth avenue so they said it would be available there which was really confusing i was like why are you guys not carrying this like i waited in a freaking line for these pairs and now i waited two months to wear these so i can share them with you guys so what i love about this um 
piece is that it just has like this beautiful um, chunky bottom and heel um, but at the same time it's not too chunky it is formal and you can definitely see the fact that it's not too chunky you can also wear it casual daily um, the only thing that I have to say is that the sizing can get a bit confusing because with um, materials like shiny patent leather, I feel like it just can be a little rough when it comes down to stretching. So after a while, it will stretch. But when I did wear it, it was fairly, fairly tight. Um, they did tell me that they can stretch it out there, but they did mention that if they do stretch it out and it does get damaged, that it, they wouldn't be liable for it. So they just recommended me taking it to a professional and doing it, although I still have haven't done it and I'm hoping it just kind of opens up on its own and if it doesn't then oh well but anyways let's talk about the shoes oh my goodness so number one I love the fact that it has the classy Prada um, logo there and print I've noticed in the um, 2020 um, fall and winter collection they even have the print uh, earrings and they're really really going hard on the Prada print um, everywhere and then I love how it has that classic Prada print inside as well and gold and the sole uh, the bottom of the shoes are amazing the bottom soles are really cool and um, overall I would say once this is stretched out it will be such a phenomenal uh, pair of shoes and let me tell you guys the size that I purchased this in, um, I purchased it in a size 38, um, US size 38. These are just so, so classy. Um, they're fairly lightweight, um, although when they are on your feet, they do feel a little heavy. They're not like, you know, um, regular shorter heeled loafers so you will feel some weight but it's not like extremely heavy where you're like oh i expected it to be heavier okay let's talk about all the ways we can style this babe you can style it with basically the outfit that i'm currently wearing right now i'm wearing black smart pants which i will show you guys when i show you guys these shoes what my full look is um you can wear this with dresses i did see that in their fashion show they were showcasing these with a lot of nighttime gowns and dresses um and skirts i can't wait to wear this one with a skirt like a beautiful cute knit um skirt that i have that i showed in my previous um video in my shopping haul i'll also try to do a little um fall styling haul as well i'll also try to do a little fall styling haul as well and um try to incorporate these a lot because i feel like you can really incorporate this a lot for winter and fall it's a phenomenal piece and i am planning on wearing them with these thin socks here um yeah i mean i don't know what else to say you can wear this with denim um you can wear this with denims uh you can really do a lot with these and they are now officially massively trending on instagram and practically all the fashion um and all the platforms i've been seeing it and i'm just like oh my god i can't wait to wear these i can't wait to wear these so i'm hoping they kind of stretch out on their own if i do start noticing that they're not and they are going to be uncomfortable for me then i will take it to be stretched out professionally um i would definitely say the part that is very confusing is that it is a little um it's not too tight on the back, but it does give like a little pressure here and I feel like that should open up and um, mainly here is where I get most of the pressure. So I'm hoping that they get um, looser a bit or open up a bit more uh, correct. Uh, actually, the correct thing to say would be for it to open up a bit more. So these are the babes and I'll go ahead and put the name here, the exact name. I actually um, forgot it slipped out of my head. So um, I think actually they have the name here, but I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly. So these are the Calzature Donna. Tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right, but we definitely know Donna loves to wear Prada. Anyways, Marina also loves to wear Prada. These are my first Prada shoes, so I'm excited to share what it looks like on me. Let's go ahead and try it and see how it looks. Sky. 
All right, my loves, I am going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, events that are happening in Armenia and to the Armenian people. So I have linked a Armenia fund link in my description. If you can please click there. If you'd like to donate, please donate. If you'd like to bring some awareness, please do so. If you want to learn more, go on my Instagram at I am Marina Odin and check out my highlights where it says Armenia. And just wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. And I hope to see you guys soon. Love you all. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.